Today we're going to hop on the boat behind me to visit three beautiful villages, Portofino, San Frutoso, and Camogli. It's going to be a great ride, so let's hop on board. We stepped on board a comfortable boat for a half-day tour round trip Santa Margarita. Cruising along the coastline of the Italian Riviera, we saw Portofino from another perspective, its backside. I could tell already that we were in for an extremely picturesque day. Our first stop was in the tiny bay of San Frutuoso. The bay is famous for its 10th century abbey, and there are only two ways to get here, by hiking or by boat. San Frutuoso's seclusion is appealing, and we stayed in the bay for about 10 minutes to admire the natural setting. This is Camogli, and as you can see, it's a fishing village. Now, back in the 19th century, it was known as a city of 1,000 cells. It had a larger fleet than either Genoa or Hamburg. Let's take a look around beautiful Camogli. The architecture in Camogli is simply stunning. It resembles a quiet fishing village mixed with a Mediterranean resort. It's said that Camogli comes from the shortened Casa del Mogli, or House of Wives, having derived its name from the women who watched over the town while their husbands were away at sea. Sailors would come here to sign contracts with the captains to go out to sea. But before going to sea, they would ask the blessings of the Virgin Mary. And when they returned, I'll show you that now. So when the sailors returned from their safe voyage, they would come here to give thanks and to celebrate. They would have a glass of wine, and they would also give these hearts that you can see on the wall back here as a thanks to the Virgin Mary for their safe passage home. Camogli's original medieval setting was centered around the local parish church, which was situated on an island that was completely detached from the mainland. Today, the island is connected to the mainland by a little square surrounded by colorful buildings and one of the most beautiful Baroque churches along the Italian coastline. I love the buildings facing the sea, painted in muted pinks, yellows, and terracottas, suitable for a postcard. Portofino is one of the world's most picturesque towns and one of the world's most photographed. This little port has a lot to offer, an interesting history, a lot of color, and some gorgeous panoramas. Let's go check out Portofino. The town of Portofino is clustered around the tiny harbor. It's hard to imagine that there's a traveler alive who hasn't seen the colorful buildings depicted in photographs of Portofino. It's one of Italy's most iconic seaside towns which explains why Portofino is a popular destination for celebrities and travelers alike. You can hike all the way up to Brown Castle, where you can tour the grounds for a fee, or spend your time at the waterfront having a glass of wine and admiring the harbor. I hiked up to the Church of San Giorgio. There were a lot of stairs, and the path continued up and up and up. But it was worth the effort to see the beautiful church, and as an added bonus, the church terrace provided a gorgeous panorama over the harbor below and tiny Portofino. I'm Ralph Grizzle, and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.